What's good everyone? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I'm quite uncomfortable doing. But since I love you guys, then I'll be giving away my Instagram strategy. I'll be breaking it down completely what I'm doing right now. It's still pretty new, but I have high hopes for it because it's already gotten me pretty good results. And uh, I feel like sharing it with you guys today. So speaking of Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description at the Matt Jacob. Again, my username is at the Matt Jacob. <laughs> My nose is a bit funny today, my voice is a bit funny today because of hay fever, so bear with me. Let's go. Start recording and let's try and break this down then. So it's going to be a mix and what I'm doing right now is a mix of reels. Okay, before we get into that, before we get into that, let's backtrack. Let's look at the principles of marketing and prospecting. You have traffic. Every successful marketer knows this. They need a traffic source. Then they need to nurture the traffic. And then what they need to do is convert the traffic. They're gonna be coming in. They're gonna be coming in relatively cold. And then as we move down this process, they're going to get warmer and warmer until they become a hot lead, which you can then convert into a sales call. And you probably and you probably know this already. But let me just show you one second. There we go. Traffic, nurturing and conversions. Now, what I'm doing here is essentially making a system based on these three fundamentals. In English, to get the traffic on Instagram, it's not the easiest thing. However, there is one key feature that makes it so easy to get traffic and it stands out. Can you guess what it is? It's Instagram Reels. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Instagram Reels. And you don't even have to do Instagram Reels. You just have to find a way to get new traffic, new eyeballs, new attention. It's just Instagram Reels is the most 80-20 way of doing it. I will also do that. I will also combine it with well, Instagram Reels is content, but the basis is you get traffic by uh, posting content and also uh, outbound. And I'll show you what I'm doing for outbound as well. Outbound. So for content, it's Instagram Reels. This is mainly to get new traffic, new eyeballs. I'm going to go all in today because I'll, I'll give away the farm. I will show you everything. So Instagram Reels, new traffic, and then just like regular content. So things like carousels, carousels, just regular posts. They're not as good as getting more eyeballs. And I'm not, I know my background was in Instagram growth, but I'm not a complete geek about it. I don't know everything. So correct me if I'm wrong, feel free to. Carousels and posts aren't as good for getting new traffic. So instead what they're good for and what I what I use them for is for nurturing. So in reality, it will still get new traffic, but in yeah, it'll still get new traffic here and there, but mainly it's for nurturing. So I'll put it here. Let's spread this out, shall we? Yeah, let's spread it out. Okay, cool. Instagram reels, new traffic, carousels, new nurturing. <laughs> okay, and then what's gonna happen is people are gonna see the Instagram reels and then it has a call to action. You know what, let, let me break it down, how I make these Instagram reels. You, you can make it however you want. However, there is a principle. There are principles to making successful Instagram reels. It's the reason why whenever that coach makes an Instagram reel, it pops off. And then when you make an Insta when you make an Instagram reel, it doesn't get many views. It doesn't pop off. So this could be the reason why. All the successful Instagram reels have these three things. Strong hook. Value. And then a CTA. So strong hook, you got to make it so strong that when they're scrolling their thumb, 
through the, the through the feed when watching other Instagram reels, it's gonna make them stop. It's gonna make their thumb stop scrolling. That's how powerful your feet, your hook needs to be. It can't just be some generic hook. Okay, who these are three ways to it could work, but just keep in mind that they are scrolling very, very fast through the feed and you have to find a way and really think about how you can stop them. This is arguably the most important step out of the three. A strong hook. Should only last like one to three seconds as well. But it should be attention grabbing. <laughs> With the value, okay. So you've enticed them, now you need to give value. So what is the actual post about? Let's say it was about Instagram strategy, like what I'm doing right now, but if you have to con condense it to a reel, you need a strong hook. Okay, my hook could be, okay, here's my Instagram strategy revealed. Value, pretty much what I'm showing you right now. So the information, the tips, the advice, whatever they came here for. Once you run through that, then you need to do a CTA because without a CTA, you're losing opportunities. So for example, if you want them to follow you, just put a CTA like, like follow for more. If you want them to book a call, click the link in the description to book a call. If you want them to DM you, DM me the word X or DM me for more tips. It can be any CTA tailored to what you want. What is the outcome that you want? So CTA, the whole point is to keep them, keep them looped in. Uh, what's the word? Opportunities. Take opportunities because imagine the post didn't have a CTA, like a follow CTA. And then you compare it to, if you did have a post with the CTA on it, telling them to follow you, you're probably missing out on, it might not do much, two to three followers you might gain, but you never know because those two to three people might actually be qualified leads to work with you and pay you. So everything, every little thing counts. So that's Instagram Reels for you. And the way to come up with ideas for, for content in general, not just Instagram Reels, is very simple. Let's use this. It's very, very simple. I've already got a video talking about how to come up with content ideas, but this is one of my favorite ways. And this is what I use right now. It's very simple if you're just starting out. Uh, it's very timeless. Content. Just think about your ideal prospect or what's your niche. You've got your niche, you know who you're serving. What is, what are the pain points? What keeps them up at night? And then what are their desires? What are their motivations? What are their goals, their dreams? And just make a list of pain points the negatives and then a list of desires and motivations and then you'll come up with a lot of content ideas a lot of reels and content that you can actually base that off of and make content about don't overcomplicate it it's very simple and simple skills uh complicated fails so that's content for you with the carousels and posts they're for nurturing so same thing you you can do these a lot you can do these a lot of different ways use the same uh, content coming up strategy. But with these, it's you have more room to, to build a deeper connection with your audience. So let's say they stumbled upon your page. Okay, now they found a carousel. It could be, some of my favorites are story posts. So it could be a before and after story. It could be a transformation, how you went from here to here. Um, and then, it, it has to, the more it's related to your niche, the better. Story transform transformational posts, just value posts in general. So here's three tips to do X, Y, Z. Um, here's what I wish I knew when I started, why you aren't making X, you know, your typical value posts. But the key is to really make these hit hard is you have to give away the farm. And if you don't know what giving away the farm is, let me put it up here. If you don't know what giving away the farm is, it's just a simile or a metaphor for giving them up, giving as much value as you possibly can, like really squeeze the juice out of your, your, no, your knowledge. And it has to be to a point where you're actually scared or you're uncomfortable giving this stuff away for free because 
it's so valuable. You don't want to give this away for free. You give you want to reserve it for your clients, but just give it away for free. This is what something I'm giving away for free right now. And it's something I'm going to teach my clients or students even, but I'm being generous. And what you find is the opposite happens. You're not going to get people who won't sign up to your program. In fact, you're bringing them closer and you're making them want to give, give you money more or want to work with you more. It's more encouraging the fact that you're giving away so much value because they're going to be thinking in their head, oh, wow, if this person's free stuff is as good as this, I can't imagine how good the paid stuff would be. So Alex Ramosi said recently, make your free shit better than their paid shit. Completely true. So don't just post surface level. There's a time and place for that. Don't just post surface level information. I can really give away the farm. Story transformational posts. If you wanna, if you're trying to get leads, what I like to do, maybe you do a CTA post on your feed, get them to take action slash mission post. So you've seen these all the time, in, especially if you're in the coach and consulting niche, arguably overplayed, but the mission post goes, um, I'm on a mission to look for, I'm on a mission to help three entrepreneurs scale past 20K a month. Who's in that kind of post? You could do two steps or you could do just give, give away, um, free resources. Give away free resources. So if you have a free training, let me move this. If you have a free training, if you have a script, if you have a, something that you just want to give away for free, you can also do that. And yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty much it for the content. A big question that's been going around is, do hashtags still work? Do hashtags still need to be put on your posts? And my answer to that is don't focus on the don't focus on the nitty gritty bits. What I found is I, I still put hashtags and I haven't really done my research as to how it has been lately, but it helps get that extra growth, extra, extra reach, I guess it helps categorize your content. But for the most part, the 80 20 is not hashtag it's this it's value it's giving away the farm so i wouldn't worry too much if you really really want to know then look it up but right now it's not really necessary traffic nurturing cool and then what i'll do as well is a bit of outbound well it's not it's technically not outbound because i'm not messaging them i'm not doing cold so this is all inbound but the outbound goes something like this it's called the 10 by 2 method and it's not by me it's by this guy called steve meller so shout out to him for creating the strategy what the 10 by 2 method states is that you you find 10 thought leaders or authority figures people who are crushing it in your niche essentially um find their instagram page turn on post notifications so that whenever they post, you go straight to that post and then you engage with, you basically engage with them or they have two forms of engagement. <laughs> they have two forms of engagement whenever they post. So for example, uh, two likes, a like and a comment, a like and a save, a comment and a share, whatever it may be. But the key here is to be genuine. Because <laughs> this is more of a long-term play. You're not going to get results in two days from doing it, yes. But it's more of a long-term play. <laughs> you're here to build connections. You're here to build relationships. So be genuine about it. Ten thought leaders. Every time they post, you leave two forms of engagement. And then what he does as well is... He has a list of 10 hashtags and you do the same thing so you go in there go in one of the hashtags just go in there and leave two forms of engagement in in the post and then you repeat that every few hours you cycle through thought leaders hashtags thought leaders hashtags until you hit your desired goal whatever it may be now my method is slightly different it's more up to date so what i'll do is 
I'll keep the 10 thought leaders. I don't have post notifications on uh, because I don't like having the notifications on. So that's just me. Whenever they post or on their recent post, I will, I'll leave engagement first and foremost. Leave engagement. And then what's gonna happen is I'll go to everyone who engaged on that post and leave two forms of engagement on their post or their, on their profile. Unless they're on private, then you can't do anything about it. And the reasoning for that is you know that they like their post already. You know these thought leaders slash competition slash people who are in the same niche as you. People who have liked their content, you know they're going to be interested in what you do as well because you two are in the same niche. So there's a big chance that they're going to be interested. And in this case, they're going to be interested on coaching and consulting, online coaching, consulting, how to grow control consulting business, lead generation. So there's a pretty good chance that they're going to be interested in what my what my content is about what my profile is about and then I'll repeat this I'll repeat nine more times throughout the day and I'll actually should I show this I'll show it so I have a list here of I have a list here of 10 thought leaders what you can actually do is uh, copy their profile. There's a there's a feature. Click the three dots on their profile, and you can actually copy their profile URL. So you don't have to type their name in every time they uh, they post. You basically just put it in a notes app and uh, put the link here. And all you have to do is click on the link and you click on the link, and it takes you straight there. And then whenever they post, so Bastion, for example, my man, if you're watching this. There we go. Three days ago, maybe it's not ideal because it's been three days. It's quite a long time. Here we go. Here's a one day one. So he just posted what? Okay, this is actually really long. Five days. Where's the one day one? Okay, here's the one day one. And then what I'll do is I'll go to the comments. Okay, obviously there are some bots, so don't don't engage with them. But what you do is if they're legit people, engage with them. If they yeah engage with them, and then go to the people who liked it. If I can, I can't on, on desktop, on your phone, you'll be able to and just engage with everyone who's uh, not on private and uh, move on to the next person, move on to the next thought leader. So now I'm doing around 100. So if it's 10 people, 10 for each, I'm doing 100 engagements per day, which is pretty good. And a handful of them are going <laughs> to look at what I have and uh, become a follower or DM me or Basically, that's how you prospect. It's very powerful, okay? You take this, all this inbound value, this content, take all of this, and that's already good enough, okay? That's good enough as it is. You're gonna get a ton of leads, people who liked it, commented on it, you're gonna get a ton of stuff. But if you stack on outbound, if you stack on this pro this method, you're off to the races. And my nose is serious. This hay fever is hitting different. Jesus Christ. Now, that's good and all, but how do you convert them? Very simple. Everyone who... Who liked... Commented... Everyone who liked, commented on your posts... Shoot them a DM. Start a conversation. So I'll be like, let's say I get 80 likes on an Instagram. Jesus Christ, man. Let's say I get 80 likes on an Instagram reel. What I'll do is I'll reach out to those, as many people as possible. I might not reach out to 80, all 80 of them, but I'll reach out to them and just be like, hey, hey, name. Just wanted to say thanks for, just wanted to say thanks for liking my post. Really appreciate it. How's everything going? Conversation started and it's not outbound cold because they took an action and you basically reached out to them <laughs> there we go same goes for other posts carousels whatever it doesn't matter 
with the CTA posts, what it will also do is it will help you convert people more. It will help you start conversations. So if I did a CTA post, I'm looking for five entrepreneurs to help scale their coaching business. I can just be like, and then like five people comment, I can just reach out to them, conversation started, and then book them on a call. <laughs> and then with the outbound, same sort of thing, but it's a slower process. So what's gonna happen is, Jesus Christ, my nose. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> Hay fever is mean today. Okay. Outbound, 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 outbound. So you do the two, 10 by two method, the revised one. And let's say out of those 100 people that you, re that you engage with, 20 of them engage back. So for example, you might like your post, might comment back, it's called the law of reciprocation. So if you do something um, of value, something good, they're likely to return the favor. So they might like your content back, comment on it, might follow you even. And in that case, you just go through the same process, just reach out to them, start a conversation, just be like, hey, this might seem random, but I just wanted to say thanks for, for commenting on my post. Really appreciate it. How's everything going? Conversation started. I've got enough videos about how to, you know, the, the appointment setting script. I've got the appointment setting manifesto video, which I can link up here. Take them through that process, have a conversation, find leverage, build rapport. And then if you can genuinely help them out, offer help, pitch, call booked. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I'll say one more thing. Make sure your profile is optimized. So optimize profile because it's going to help increase conversions and it just looks nice. We, we judge people off. Uh, there is such thing as make a first impression. So the first impression being an optimized profile. So what that looks like is make sure your profile pic is optimized your bio, story, stories and story highlights, username, and uh, yeah, your posts. So profile picture very quickly has to be clear. Ideally, it's your face. Bio, make sure it clearly states who you help, how you can help them, and any social proof or achievements as well you can throw in. Um, make sure you have a call to action. So it could be uh, pointing to a link down below, wherever you want to be. Stories, story highlights, make sure you've got stories up frequently. So when they click on it, they always see that, that, that circle and they're just going to be nurtured more through that as well. So another thing I forgot to mention is stories. So on top of the posts, every time you're not posting, you should be nurturing them through your stories. And then story highlights should just contain a like a collection of the best stories that you have or it could even be a funnel so for example you could have results it could have a like a start here story highlight where you go over what your business is in a nutshell and then at the end it has a cta so it's up to you and then the username make sure it's memorable it's short it's sweet and uh ideally avoid any numbers underscores or full stops and then the posts you'll be fine if you just follow this guideline all this leads to a great first impression and it's going to lead to them one of it's going to lead to a higher likelihood of them following you and converting okay so that's pretty much it that's pretty much my live instagram strategy i will keep you updated on how it goes but at the moment this is what i'm doing and you feel free to copy me so i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel we're nearing 100 followers so it's not bad and uh let me know how well this instagram strategy does for you so if you're a coach consultant agency owner whatever you may be a business owner just follow me on instagram at the matt jacob and i will see you in the next one